Hello, my name is Marcus and uh, today I am going to show you how to create arrows flying with a particle flow and uh, land hitting the floor and uh, staying there. So, this is uh, what we'll be creating. And uh, in the tutorial I'm just going to create a s very simple model of an arrow and uh, use that. Okay, let's get started. I'll start with uh, building a very simple arrow. So in the front view create a cylinder and uh, go to the modify panel. Uh, change the radius down to maybe uh, yeah that's good and increase the height and uh, reduce uh, the height segments and uh, the sides maybe to f 12 and the cap segments to 2 then uh, press the hierarchy tab affect pivot only center to object and uh, go back to the modify panel press w on the keyboard to get to the move uh, tool and uh, or you can press up here select and move and then uh, right click on these values to move it to the center press alt and hold alt and press w to uh, maximize the frame uh, or the viewport and uh, here we have the main shape uh, or I'm going to uh, reduce the radius a bit more okay and now convert this uh, to an editable poly and uh, press F4 to see all the edges uh, select polygon and uh, press C or set for uh, zooming in on uh, your selected stuff uh, or polygons or objects and uh, now select uh, by holding control and clicking on these polygons select them and extrude extrude uh, oops uh, extrude them uh, one point two press OK and uh, select vertex mode select all these and scale them together and also like that and uh, probably move them back a bit more like that or something like that and then I'm going to uh, get out of sub object mode, mode and uh, add a symmetry modifier yeah that uh, actually worked perfectly just from uh, <laughs> the beginning and that is because I centered the object uh, to the scene and uh, if uh, it doesn't work like this at once you can uh, change the axis and uh, see which one is the correct you can flip it and uh, to uh, completely uh, center the mirror to the this uh, mirror plane to the object you can uh, press while you have selected the mirror uh, sub uh, menu under symmetry uh, press align and then uh, select the uh, mesh you want to uh, add the <laughs> you want to uh, mirror and uh, then uh, press uh, ok ok now uh, this uh, part of the arrow is done and I'm going to uh, press set or C or whatever you want to call it and uh, add a pyramid this is going to be the tip of the arrow press angle snap toggle and uh, press E to get to the rotate tool or you can press up here 
and uh, flip it 90 degrees and then align it to the cylinder press ok and move it up to the top okay I see I think uh, it is <laughs> way too big and uh, so I'm just going to uh, make it smaller something like that and then uh, to the uh, uh, last thing here reduce all the segments of this uh, plane <laughs> I created a plane and uh, then uh, press align again and uh, ok and move this plane to press C and uh, maybe it's a uh, little too so thin or I mean uh, uh, narrow and uh, okay so scale it up on the uh, width and uh, press E to get to the rotate hold shift to uh, clone the uh, plane and rotate it 90 degrees and make it an instance now you can uh, go to isolate selection on the, the plane and uh, make the width segments 2 and add a edit pol uh, edit poly modifier go to vertex select vertex mode select uh, these two and move them back a bit then select this vertex and move it forward you can get out of edit poly mode and select exit isolation mode press C on the keyboard to maximize the view and because uh, the other plane was an instance uh, it uh, changed too okay now the proxy or the uh, low res uh, model is uh, uh, finished so let's uh, select all objects and hit group and maybe name it as arrow okay now it's important that the pivot point pivot point is at the tip because uh, the pivot point uh, decides where the uh, arrow should s uh, stops uh, on the uh, floor later uh, you'll see what I mean so go to hierarchy tab effect pivot only and uh, move it uh, forward to here maybe so that the tip sinks sinks a bit into the floor but it it will just flip over if it didn't uh, get into the floor at all so just maybe there okay and now let's uh, get 